Is white supremacist music overtaking Spotify? Well, we're gonna find out in today's video. What's up guys, this is Omari with No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice online. If you are a serious musician, go ahead and click that subscribe button because we go over actionable content every single day on this channel for music artists. So today we have, this is, this is, this will be many, many lessons in marketing uh, because I'm going to talk about more of the psychology of this, but I, I read across this article and I thought, why not? Well, why not? Let's, let's talk about it. We've talked about stuff like this a little bit before, uh, but maybe not as in-depthly. Uh, so this article says a look at Spotify's growing white supremacist content problem. Uh, now, obviously, as you guys can tell, I, I would not be a, a white supremacist, but I want to just highlight something, highlight some marketing things that happen whenever anything political, anything you know, anything that gets the emotions going, I want you to just recognize what happens with these. So this says uh, the Anti-Defamation Anti League Center on Extremism has highlighted how white supremacist content flourishes on Spotify under several music genres. Uh, this is an article at digitalmusicnews.com. And uh, it, it goes on to say, you know, there's pretty much three sub- subtypes that that people are listening to one is fash wave never heard of these one is fash wave uh one is rock against communism and then one is national socialist black metal all right and then it names some bands it says that spotify has a it even calls it a flourishing problem on spotify these uh playlists these these artists on there so just to do a little bit of investigative journalism let's take you to the screen here so fash wave so when I go on to my Spotify, maybe you got Spotify looks different. Uh, but when I go and type in Fast Wave and let, let's click on one of these lists, I'm seeing 111 likes. I'm seeing now this is not to downplay it. I and I have not. I we'll, we'll go over this next, but uh, this one's 380 likes. So in terms of a flourishing problem. Whenever somebody just uses a vague, this is marketing lesson number one. You can apply this if you want. Obviously, don't recommend you do any sort of hateful content or whatever. But anytime there is a vague word, a vague adjective, that's when you can sway people's emotions with your marketing. So if you, there's two ways to do this. If you do have actual statistics, then you can place those in the article. You'll notice this in real estate a lot. Whenever they don't, whenever a, a house or a building doesn't really have the highest quality materials, they'll use these power adjectives. So it'll be something flourishing, you know, great, um, uh, inspirational, all this, all this other stuff. Like if if you don't have a specific material, like if you want to name the material in a kitchen, you'll say granite countertops or you know, you'll name the material. If you don't, you'll just use some sort of power adjective. Pol politicians do this all the time too. That's why they get a lot of clicks. A lot of these news channels, uh, independent news networks, they use these type of adjectives to get people to click. So whenever you're doing your music ads, we'll take a lesson from this. Whenever you're doing your music ads and you're trying to get people to click on your page, whether that's doing organic Instagram reels or TikToks or YouTube shorts, or you're running ads, you want to use some of these types of incendiary adjectives language so that you can get people to click on it. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing it the same way that people like this are doing it, but take whatever lesson you can, right? Uh, so I, I'm not seeing a bunch. Uh, this doesn't mean that nobody's listening to it, right? Or nobody's doing it. But in terms of flourishing, it might be a bit of a stretch to say that that is flourishing, right? We're not seeing a ton of likes around that. Uh, let's go to the next one. So this is what is rock against communism. This subgenre of punk is full of songs that promote white supremacist ideology like anti-Semitism and racism. RC bands on Spotify include Kush Frost. So let's go look at Kush Frost because they're naming them in here. So we search them on, uh, let's go to the artist. So I actually don't even see Kush Frost 
on Spotify. Uh, let's look for this next one. Let's look for it on Spotify. This is how you do. In fact, this is this is a good insight in how I research stuff for marketing. So anytime anybody says anything, whether that's marketing purposes, I'm researching stuff to learn how to make better ads. If I'm looking at um, political things, if I'm looking at uh, business things, any podcasts, do your own research. If there's so many talking heads out there on social media that are using all these different psychological tactics, even if they don't realize they're using them or they just heard them and they just started to repeat them, like these influencers just start to repeat stuff. Don't even check if it makes sense first. Um, not to say that they have a bad motive behind it, but we're not checking to see if something makes sense first before just repeating it out. Uh, so again, I'm not even finding this band here. Uh, next one, 13 knots. Let's go see. So we got 13 knots. Okay, this one does show up as an artist, and they have 21 monthly listeners. Scarlet Letter, I'm uh, not going to click the listen button, but 1,400 streams on this one, if that's even the right one. And that was the only one that popped up on Spotify. So, and ter- again, this is just to point out, not to say that nobody listens, right, because there's a 1,000 listeners or, you know, a little bit over that, but in terms of being a flourishing problem, or ever growing problem or something that is pervasive in society. Is there a statistical backing to say that this is actually the case? Not my opinion, not how Omari feels about this, not how you feel about this, not what CNN told you to think about this or Fox News told you to think about this or Facebook told you to think about this with all their, uh, or, or YouTube with all the little disclaimers under videos and all these things um, and what they feed you in the algorithm. Is there actual evidence behind this? Um, I'm just not finding that. We're doing a live research on this video. Uh, so let's, let's just che- check further into it. Uh, so let's see here. Some of the, we have the National Socialist Black Metal. Some of the artists that are part of this movement include this band here or this person here. I have no idea. Let's just search them. Okay. All right. Again, I'm not seeing this artist pop up first. So unless they removed every single one of these artists from Spotify, or even we we searched the genre uh, for a Spotify playlist. So I'm just not seeing that this is a huge growing audience here. Whereas I have made separate videos on the the actual things that Spotify promotes. So if you look at the, you know, the rap caviar playlist. These are active things that are promoted. And this one has 15 million followers. So and it, it, we, we've done, you know, we've looked through the lyrics of songs like this on playlists that this is actually Spotify. So this is not some random user. This is Spotify promoting all these songs. We can go to any, let's even go to some metal playlist. Uh, so let's look playlist metal. There's a metal mix of heavy metal. Okay, so that definitely is a sus picture on the the front of the heavy metal playlist. However, just it's not not as many listeners on the playlist. So if we're talking about a pervasive problem, if we just go look at the lyrics of these songs, um, just to do an objective look, a lot of times the, the metal songs themselves uh, they will have a lot of darker lyrics. Um, you know, seven inches of satanic panic. Uh, and very dark stuff like that, but it's not being as promoted or not being followed as much as equally dark lyrics talking about killing people. So obviously we don't want anybody to do either. That's why in terms of a company going out and saying these things, who's feel free to name one in the comments that actually does not promote this type of content. So we don't promote either. Uh, We're one of the few that actually denies a check to promote any sort of misogynist content, satanic content, um, cursing, uh, drug use, all the stuff. Like we're the ones that actually don't do all of it. So whenever you're looking at a marketing, like any sort of news or whatever that's coming in, or you're digesting marketing content and trying to reproduce it to see how you can benefit your music career, pay close attention to detail. 
A lot of organizations out there have agendas. Again, some of them may not even knowingly be contributing to an agenda. An agenda. Uh, and of course, nobody's in favor of somebody actually being anti-Semitic or being racist against black people, Jews, white people, whoever. Uh, but in terms of something being flourishing or pervasive, I, it'd be hard pressed to say that the same organization is going to write an article about how some sort of lyrics and other genres of music are just as detrimental as we do. So we'll point out that yes, the things that are in metal music are demonic and they're bad and you should not be following that. If, again, you can listen to whatever you want, but as far as us promoting it, no, we don't do that. Uh, the equally bad things, talking about killing people for senseless violence and you know doing very denigrating things to women or men or whatever. We just don't partake in it. So whenever somebody's just being one-sided on that and not being holistic and they don't speak out against one thing or the other, pay attention to these marketing tactics because really all they're doing is feeding, feeding you a confirmation bias. So, you know, there's a lot of marketing out there, a lot of channels out there, whatever you guys watch, take a different mindset towards it. Don't let anybody do your thinking for you. Sometimes people just follow one ideology just because they've been following it for a decade. And then it takes, usually it takes some big life change or shift to get their thinking to change, but you don't have to wait for that. You don't have to go through the experience yourself to get the wisdom of it. You can just take an objective look, come outside of yourself for a second and say, do what is what I'm believing? You know, does it, really make any sense? Uh, is this consistent with the rest of my beliefs? And if it's not, then, you know, put on your big boy pants, put on your big girl pants. Uh, don't just double down on being wrong or being inconsistent. Fix that. So this is not to beat up on digital music news per se um, or, or anything like that. There's nothing, obviously, we should be talking about people who uh, are being anti-Semitic. I was actually not able to find the lyrics to these songs either. So with a lot of, if a song's smaller, like if it's from an indie artist, a lot of times they don't have the lyrics online because it's not that big of an artist. And again, not that many people are listening, so they just don't bother to put the lyrics up. For any of the songs on the bigger playlist, we were able to just easily find the lyrics for those songs. And you know, I didn't, uh, I think I might've played one song for a second or two on there whenever I was trying to research, hey, is this song, you know, the, are these white supremacists or, are these people being anti-Semitic on these songs? Uh, I was not able to really find. Uh, again, we couldn't find a bunch of these artists on Spotify. So it was, you know, I, I can't verify that, but something to look at. Always do your research. Do as much research as you can with what you can find. So I know a bit of a different take on marketing, more of a psychological take, but Marketing is a lot of psychology. And if you are not aware of the psychology, it will be used against you. Uh, they will get your emotions going to and fro. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. Let me know uh, what you can find on this if you dig up any information. And uh, again, be even across the board. If you're going to be against something, be against it all the way. So catch you in the next video.